All right, welcome back. And uh, we're gonna have a pretty quick analysis for this one. He quit the game halfway through, so I'm not really sure how far or if I made my own blunder. It says we have three mistakes, one blunder, but uh, I guess we'll find out what really went wrong, right? All right, it shows that I d relatively didn't have the advantage for most of the game. It was pretty even uh, when you look at that little bar going across. Uh, my accuracy was 81 which is nice. Uh, we'll start the review again, doing that Vienna. That was the last one. That was uh, the Bishop's opening. Uh, I thought I was doing the Vienna, but I guess the Vienna would be different. Uh, I'm guessing because he moved his Bishop out first. So then I moved my Bishop out. That makes it the Bishop's opening. Regardless, um, I kind of set up. It's saying that that was a good move, but like not the best move. Best move would have been to move the horse because that is a vulnerable pawn. Essentially saying like, hey, uh, I'm gonna take this pawn next. Uh, so regardless, I guess, I guess had he done his little attack right here uh, to kind of attack me right here. Uh, I just realized he didn't really have a a fried liver attack because he didn't really fork uh, my king and my rook so I guess that was not the fried liver excuse me uh, we're learning here all right so I did that and I was expecting him to take honestly I was expecting him to take and I was gonna take with the pawn but yeah I take open up the center horses come out a castle again he says that's a mistake and I understand how he sees that it's a mistake because he left that pawn undefended. This pawn has been ready to be taken like <laughs> for the majority of the game, uh, but I missed it every time. Went for the even exchange, um, saying I should move back. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm guessing just to keep my knight safe. Um, yeah. Cause I'm guessing like you could set up an attack, like just move this guy here and then uh, takes, you know, wait, yeah. Like I take, uh, check him, he moves out of the way or he takes or whatever and then I lose the bishop and then it opens up my position, etc. Again, I'm learning here. Moving out, he moves his, that's actually a, a miss. So I guess putting his, uh, his rook there was not, what he should have done, what he actually should have done is moved his horse back. So, because then we traded, made his uh, queen move out. Again, most of this time I was just like thinking, oh man, I need to, I need to move my bishop to this area right here. Otherwise, uh, I have no control over anything. Uh, but, you know, okay move. Says it better move would have been to move the queen right there yeah i guess because if he attacks with this pawn on my queen then i just i just take it <laughs> or i just take this one and then i take the bishop and then i take everything so i guess i under understand what's going on there uh took the pawn best move uh threatened moved him out moved these guys out it says it's, that's an okay move more okay moves. We did a lot of okay moves towards the end, but uh, then, yeah, then I attacked. That was a very easy thing to just dodge, but here's where it all fell apart. I move my guy back, and he decides to just open up and fork his pieces. Uh, and that's where the game ended. Guy quit. So, wild, wild game. I guess, you know. That's what you can come to expect, you know? I don't know what to say about this one. I really wish he didn't quit. Uh, I guess we'll never know how it ended. But uh, it says I played like a 1250. I felt like an 800, so um, that's, that's nice. Middle game, I did better um, than him. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, get ready for day four. See you guys tomorrow. Two, three, four. Hey, 
get get close. Yeah. There you go. That. There you go.